Two of the nation's busiest ports are now issuing fines for cargo containers that sit around too long. The ports of Los Angeles and the ports of Long Beach announcing the plan as major issues continue to plague the nation's supply chain. Aaron Nolan has the latest from Bentonville, Arkansas. So, Aaron, how much are these fines? Well, the fines will start after nine days. So ships have nine days to sit there and wait until those ports may be open. But then the fines do start. $100 a day per container per day. So that will continue to add up. And this is the latest in an effort to help ease that ship traffic there in what is now the busiest port in all of the United States. The announcement of fines was made on Monday. It follows the Biden administration opening up the port 24 hours a day, trying to get these massive cargo ships processed and moved to port. And Adrian, maybe more importantly, get some of that product to store small businesses, even big box retailers, so us, the consumers, can buy those things. Now, I do want to talk about how big this port is, both LA, the LA port, as well as the port there uh, in Southern California. 40% of everything that comes in via cargo ships goes into Southern California, into that harbor, Adrian. Now, you mentioned, I know there are other ports, uh, even though we have these two massive ones in Southern California, but yeah. just thinking about it, I feel like I've heard a story about New Orleans and the port there maybe trying to ease some of this uh, congestion, and, and, and maybe there are other ports that can ease the pressure from uh, the Southern California ports. Well, you, absolutely. That's the thought right now, Adrian, is that can New Orleans help? Jacksonville, Florida, also another international port that wants to help. But then it comes down to a waiting game. These, these boats, these ships have to decide, do I wait there or do I take the time to go from the Pacific Ocean in Southern California through Central America, the Panama Canal, to get to the Gulf of Mexico and get to the Atlantic Ocean. At the end of the day, Adrian, it all comes down to time. Where do you want to spend that time at? Yeah, I'm exhausted just hearing you say all that. That sounds like a long trek for anybody. I, I, I agree, yeah.